Did you ever find yourself wanting a two hour car commercial with shades of Fast and Furious on cocaine? If so, this is a film for you. Michael Bay and his Bayisms are at it again, but this time at Netflix with the film Six Underground. At Netflix, directors usually have all of the creative control that they see fit. In fact, you can tell that Michael Bay snorted a blend of every drug imaginable before coming to set each day. To put it plainly, the pace, the logic, and the overall film is just off the wall bonkers. In fact, if I was a frat boy, this would probably be my favorite film of the year. This is where the problem lies with the whole film. It is way too chaotic. Whoever was the script supervisor either wasn't listened to or just didn't do their job at all. The first 30 minutes is the biggest car commercial that I've ever seen. There were so many continuity errors in this that they outnumbered explosions in a Michael Bay film. I didn't even think that was possible. There were so many shots of the car looking different just back to back. There's a very specific set piece in which you see the car getting scratched and losing a mirror just for the next shot to show it completely perfect. There's a shot in which you see Ryan Reynolds putting down the window poking his head out, the next shot is outside of the car, window closed, Ryan Reynolds inside the car, and then the next shot after that is him once again already outside of the window. This is supposed to be one continuous scene. It's just baffling how no one noticed this. It's so sloppy, messy, and incoherent, but no one's gonna give a damn because it's such a dumb fun movie. There's even a lot of jokes that don't land at all, but I'm sure Michael Bay thought it was hilarious. Look, if you want an insane action film that makes no sense, or if you want to make fun of a film, this is the one. I give Six Underground a 6 out of 10. Fitting, isn't it? If you want to see something on Netflix, just check out I Lost My Body. It's a French animation film that honestly might be my favorite movie of the year. So, if you've seen Six Underground on Netflix or plan to, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, please like, subscribe, share, and click right here to see more Yeti Films content. Thank you for watching and I'll write you later.